Hey guys, Barefoot on Bricks here, and today we're going to be checking out the finalists for the LEGO Ideas projects. Uh, now, all of these projects managed to hit the 10,000 supporter goal um, by the beginning of January 2021, and the winners from this round will be announced at the end of April, uh, beginning of May, where uh, you'll have the opportunities for these sets to go uh, into production and then you'll be able to buy them and support the uh, the creators as well. So without further ado, let's check out the 25 entrants for this round. And first up, we have the Boeing 737 by Big Plains Customs. Um, now the Boeing 737 is one of the most popular commercial planes made by Boeing. Um, and I think this could be a very nice addition to your Lego City um, airport range. But uh, as an ideas kit, I'm not so sure. Next up we've got the Colosseum by Sky Walter. Now uh, obviously last year saw Lego bring out the uh, largest model thus far which was the 9036 piece Colosseum model so it's a bit of a no-brainer that this one is not going to happen. Gravity Falls the Mystery Shack by Top Lego 8 and Mini Brick Productions. Now um, never seen it but this is apparently based off of a US animated mystery comedy series uh, that ran for two seasons, uh, which aired back in 2012 to 2016. Uh, honestly, can't really see the appeal. I'm sure there's a, there is a fan base, obviously, uh, but in the wider scheme of things, I can't really see this one uh, happening. Guess which modular Lego released in 2021? So yeah, the police station by Brick1980, whilst a great looking model, is unfortunately not gonna happen. But uh, Brick1980 has certainly given us some very nice customization options for the uh, new modular. And I love the inclusion of the uh, police car as well. But uh, obviously with LEGO releasing the police station as a modular for this year, this one unfortunately is not going to happen. Bag End by Saab Fan. Now uh, I really like the uh, Hobbit Hole or Smile uh, as they're more commonly known. Um, if I'm going to be really picky, I'm going to say there's maybe a bit too much green. Um, but I do really love the inclusion of the fact that it is sitting on the book. Um, very, very nice touch. Uh, reminds me a lot of the um, uh, Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens, that we Lego had uh, released for Christmas uh, last year. Um, also, the model looks very similar to the Unexpected Gathering set from back in 2012. But uh, overall, yeah, a very, very nice model. Next up, Red Dwarf Starbug by Bob's Vintage Bricks. Now, uh, Red Dwarf uh, fans are going to absolutely hate me now. Um, but uh, for those who don't know, uh, Red Dwarf is a cult classic science fiction British comedy from the uh, early 90s. Um, big appeal, obviously, to uh, especially to the, to the British uh, fan base. I don't know how well Red Dwarf um, was received um, overseas, especially in the US market. I don't even know if they even uh, even picked up on it. So I can't really see this one um, really happening, unfortunately. Avatar The Last Airbender by Studio T. Rico. Uh, now this is based off of an animated television series, uh, which aired, aired back in 2005 to 2008. Um, the model looks like it has some motion control, similar to the Hedwig Harry Potter set, but um, again, the I don't know if the uh, the Avatar um, franchise is still strong enough to to release a set. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, if I am, please you know drop a comment uh, in the comment section down below and and let me know. Classic Castle by De Boer. Now is Lego Castle making a comeback uh, it's been a very long time since we've seen uh, the lego castle range and uh, obviously on the second hand market the prices are uh, well, just mad um, now we've got the medieval blacksmith coming out next month uh, that was from the previous uh, lego ideas project and also we've got the castle creator three in one set coming out in the summer of this year and that's uh, estimated to retail for about a hundred pounds so could we see Castle making a comeback? And if so, could this potentially uh, be a new release? Fingers crossed, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. Open MRI by Apollo Excondi. Now, 
obviously nice idea uh, it's got the support obviously it reached 10,000 votes and I can see this uh, as part of a bigger uh, model uh, of obviously of a hospital um, but as a standalone Lego idea product I would probably hesitate and say no motorized lighthouse by roses must build now prior to this we've had three lighthouses uh, we've had the creator three in one there was one from scooby-doo and also in lego friends if i remember correctly now this to me is definitely a standout model um, i'm picturing this as sort of the wind turbine type size uh, obviously built on the on the cliff face I think there's a lot of potential um, for this type of model and obviously with the uh, the light brick uh, inclusion um, and obviously with a motor uh, to turn it as well I think this one has definitely got to be in there with a good shout. Avatar the illuminated world of Pandora by Bulldozer. Now gotta confess never seen the original movie never interested me I know there was a lot of hype about it uh, and a lot of people said a lot of good things about it and apparently there is a new one coming out um, I think in a couple of years um, in terms of the actual model itself though and as a Lego idea love the colors used a uh, very busy model um, but I reckon if you throw a lighting kit in there this could be something quite special Spirited Away by Lego Truman now uh, this is based on the Studio Ghibli uh, animated film of the same name and um, just looking at the size of this uh, I reckon it could easily rival some of the Ninjago builds like the new uh, Ninjago Garden set. Now the downside to this of course is whilst it's a uh, mega construction um, is that Studio Ghibli don't license out any of their properties so I kind of think that that one's going to sort of seal the deal in terms of this not being a Lego uh, project unfortunately. Jumanji of 1995 by Nikana. Um, now I've got to confess here again I've not seen this movie I've only seen the second uh, Jumanji movie so I'm not quite sure how this uh, actually ties in with the movie um, but based on just looking at it as a as a build uh, I can see a house that's been split in two a great looking build of a house don't get me wrong uh, and I like the um, the aesthetic of it but uh, I can't quite see this making it as a, um, a standalone ideas project. The Little Venice by Bricky Brick. Now this is one of two Lego ideas entries that uh, Bricky Brick has got in this round. And um, what an amazingly beautiful modular. Uh, attention to detail, the scale is fantastic. Um, as we've come to expect from Bricky Brick. And I would highly recommend checking out some of his other modulars and ideas that he's put together as set builds as well. Um, on the downside, I think that might just be the, the fact that it's not going to be made. It's because of the fact that it is incredibly detailed. Um, but fingers crossed, maybe this one could be a contender. Next up, the Auto Union Type C race car by Rodera Double Zero. Now, I've got to be honest, I had to Google this, as I know nothing about cars. Um, in terms of vintage Grand Prix cars, we're looking at going back to the late 1930s here. Um, now, based on accuracy, this model looks incredibly accurate. Um, now, LEGO Ideas has never really taken a shine to cars in general, um, but maybe that's all about to change. Right, getting back to something a bit more modern day now with the automated garbage truck by Mocking Master and Alexander Hammersterton. Now, um, I can definitely see this in uh, in Lego City. Uh, I think every city should actually have one. Um, now, we've had a couple of garbage trucks um, in the past. Back in 2012, we had set uh, 4432. And 2016, we had set 60118. I think there's a 4 plus set. Um, as well um, high time that I think we got a new version and um, with the motorized action as well I can definitely see Lego City um, producing this and, and branding it maybe not as an idea set um, but definitely under the Lego City brand so uh, watch this space right so if you're a, a fan of Taekwondo um, or a fan of strategy games then this one could be for you uh, TX Master Games by TX Master now I've got absolutely no idea how to play this 
Um, but apparently it is a strategy game based on Taekwondo. Um, it clearly got 10,000 supporters and obviously a lot of interest was uh, generated. So um, yeah, if anyone knows how to play this game or if anyone actually has an idea, then please feel free to leave a comment down below. Right, now we've got the Milwaukee Art Museum by Vida Andres. Now, as a standalone Lego Ideas project, I think maybe not, but I can definitely see this fitting in with the Lego architecture range. Um, stunning design and beautiful shape um, on this uh, on this building and on this uh, on this modular. So yeah, I could definitely see this one being picked up as as Lego architecture. And here we have the second entry by Bricky Brick, and this time round it is the car wash. Again, amazing attention to detail. Love the uh, the, the Cadillac style car as well, and um, the fact that he's managed to get two uh, sets through with ten thousand um, voter support um, just tells you just how popular uh, a builder he is, um, and the attention to detail that he puts into into his builds and sets. Incredible work. Next up we have Wallace and Gromit by Tom Gerardin. Now this is obviously based on the very very popular and award winning clay animation movies and short films uh, created by Nick Park. Um, now these have been around since the late 1980s um, if memory serves me correctly. Um, the likeness for the characters is spot on and this absolutely has to be a contender uh, and should this become a Lego um, ideas set then definitely going to be in my collection next in line as a contender is the among us the scaled by minifig in disguise now this is based on an online multiplayer computer game um, by developer inner sloth never played the game myself so i couldn't really tell you uh, much about the game um, but in terms of game licenses i mean we had uh, the Blizzard Activision Overwatch series, um, which has now been discontinued, and I think that did fairly well, but I don't know if Among Us is popular enough to make it a Lego Ideas um, set for the shelves. Obviously, I mean, it got the 10,000 supporters, um, so maybe. One for the history buffs now, the Roman Warship by Ian Ha. Now this is definitely a, a contender I think here, there's lots of details um, and I'm guessing it's historically correct um, but obviously if you if you know then please leave a comment down below. Um, the only thing I would say is that uh, if this did become a Lego Ideas project that uh, they would probably reduce the number of minifigs that you actually got with the build. The Adams Family Mystery Mansion by Disney Brick 55. Unfortunately, this one is going to fall into the category along with the Coliseum and the Police Station Modular, um, purely because we had the Lego release of the Haunted House last year, uh, which is quite sad because I love the look of this house. Um, it looks amazing. I can see lots of playability uh, as the house opens up. Um, obviously, all the characters, um, but unfortunately not gonna not gonna happen second last on the list is the gmc blue chip 100 1957 model by ing manual uh, now these are great looking models of cars um, but i think that lego tend to focus more on the sporty um, type cars um, so i don't know if this is going to is going to make it uh, which is sad because they are uh, very, very, uh, very good looking models. Um, but also, I don't think Lego have ever made chrome pieces. Um, so that also might cast a bit of a shadow, uh, unfortunately. But nevertheless, good looking models. And last but not least is the Viking Village by Brick Hammer. Now, Lego, this is how it's going to play out. If we can't have a new updated castle series, then we'll more than happily take a Viking set. Um, base it off of the, uh, the History uh, Channel TV series, um, which is massively popular, uh, and I'm pretty sure that these sets will fly off the shelves. Amazing attention to detail again, and I think a top-notch uh, job done by Brickhammer to capture all the details. Loving this one. 
And that's it for this round. 25 LEGO projects. Which ones are going to be winners? Which ones are going to be losers? We'll find out at the end of April, beginning of May. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know which you thought were your favourites and which ones you'd like to see um, being released as sets or even which projects might not make it as a LEGO Ideas set but maybe make it as another set. Maybe Architecture or maybe even LEGO City. Let us know, leave a comment down below, and if you did enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much, we'll see you soon. Take care, have fun.